Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we want to look at how to solve some algebraic expressions without the use of calculators. So without further ado, let's begin. So we have example number one. Without using tables or calculators, we are to evaluate 53.8 squared minus 46.2 squared. So this is very easy. Let's go ahead and look at the solution to this problem. So the expression we've been given is 53.8 squared minus 46.2 squared. Now, this is equal to... Now, the expression we have over here, where we have a number squared minus another number squared is what we call difference of two squares. So, for example, if I have A squared minus B squared... This is what we call difference of two squares. So I can rewrite this as A minus B multiplied by A plus B. Now, if you expand this bracket, if you expand what you have over here, you'll be getting what you have over here. So that is why it is a difference of two squares. Now, using this idea or this expansion, we are going to write what we have over here in this particular form. So we'll have into bracket 53.8 53.8 plus 46.2 then another bracket 53.8 then minus 46.2 so this is equal to 53.8 plus 46.2 will give us 100 then multiplied by 53.8 minus 46.2 will give us 7.6 now if I multiplied 7.6 by 100 yes myself because I have two zeros here I will need to move the dot to decimal point over here twice so it is 1 2 so it will become here so it will not be 760 as my answer. So my answer here is 760. And so therefore, the solution to this problem without using calculator is 760. So the first thing we did was to expand the expression that we have as difference of two square. We do our normal addition and subtraction of the content we have in the brackets. And then we do our normal multiplication just on our paper. So for instance, the 53.8 plus the 46.2 is like this, even though I didn't show it. So 8 plus 2 will give us 10. So we write 0, carry 1. 3 plus 6, that will give us 9. Plus uh, 1, that will give us 10. We write 0, we carry 1 again. And then 5 plus 4 will give us 9. Plus 1 will give us 10. So that is how come we got the 100. And then when we go to the 53.8, minus 46.2 we did the exact same thing just subtraction so 8 minus 2 will give us 6 so now 53 minus 46 will give us 7 so that is how come we have a 7.6 and that is what we used over here now also um, the 100 multiplied by 7.6 if you do the multiplication because it has a it is in the hundreds, tens, hundreds. Okay, it means we have to move the decimal point here twice. So if we do that one, two, our decimal point will now be here, point zero. So we just add one zero over here. And so our result becomes 760.0 as our result. And that is what we have over here. All right, now let's proceed to look at more examples. So we have example number two. Without using calculator, we have to find Q if 3q plus 13 squared is equal to 16 squared. All right, let's proceed. So we write down the solution. This is uh, one easy problem. So we have 3q plus 13 squared is equal to 16 squared. So what we do is that we have to move the 13 squared to the other side of the equal to sign so we have 3q alone because we want to find the value of q so i maintain my 3q here to be equal to 16 squared 
over here the 13 squared is positive so if i move it across the equal to sign it becomes negative so minus 13 squared now the 16 squared minus 13 squared we have over here is in the form a squared minus b squared which i said earlier on we can express it as a plus b multiplied by a minus b which is difference of two squares so we have here 3q is equal to here we will have 16 minus 13 then 16 plus 13 over here so we have our 3q to be equal to now 16 minus 13 will give us 3 then multiplied by 16 plus 13 will give us 29 so from here we want the value of q not 3q so we divide both sides by 3 if we do that 3 will cancel the 3 over here so we are left with q is equal to the 3 here will cancel the 3 over here so we are left with 29 at the top so therefore our value or the value the value of q is equal to 29 in this particular case all right let's proceed to look at more examples so without using calculator or mathematical tables we have to find the value of y if 13 y is equal to 187 squared minus 174 squared all right so let's write down the solution to this problem so just like we've been doing before we are going to attempt this question the exact same way so you can pause the video go ahead and solve it and let me know the value that you have for y and then compare with my answer later on all right so we have 13 y is equal to 187 squared minus 174 squared now this has already been arranged for us so we have uh, our 13 y which is where we have the variable at one side of the equal to sign and then we have the difference of two squares also on the other side of the equal to sign so all we have to do here is to maintain our 13 y is equal to then over here we express this as difference of two squares so i will have 187 minus 174 and multiplied by 187 plus 174 so i still maintain my 13 y to be equal to 187 minus 174 that will give me 13 multiplied by 187 plus 174 if we add that will give me 361 so from here we want the value of y not 13 y so i divide both sides by 13 by 13 so this will cancel this so the value of y that is left is equal to the 13 over here will cancel this 13 so i have 361 as the value of y that is left so therefore the value of y the value of y is equal to 361 all right let's have a look at one final example so we have to find the value of r without using calculator if 5r squared plus 22.55 squared is equal to 27.45 squared all right so just like we've done before we are going to do the exact same thing over here so you can pause the video go ahead and try your hands on this problem and then uh, compare your results with mine so I have 5r squared plus 22.55 squared is equal to 27.45 squared so as usual I'll maintain my 5r squared at one side and then I send the 22.55 squared to the other side of the equal to sign. So I now have 27.45 squared minus 22.55 squared. So now I have it in the form of difference of two squares. So maintaining my 5R squared over here, this will be equal to into bracket 27.45 
minus 22.55 then into another bracket 27.45 plus 22.55 all right so i have my 5r squared maintain is equal to 27.45 minus 22.55 if we do the subtraction we give us 4.9 multiplied by 27.45 plus 22.55 if we add that it will give us the value of 50 so from here i divide both sides by 5 both sides by 5 this will cancel this so i'll be left with r squared is equal to 4.9 multiplied by 50 divided by 5 but then 5 can go into itself 1 can go into 50 10 times so i have r squared is equal to 4.9 multiplied by 10 so my r squared is equal to 4.9 multiplied by 10 will give me 49 as my answer now i have r squared and the question demands that i find r so i need to take the square root of both sides so if i do that take the square root of r over here r squared I'll have plus or minus then the square root of 49 so this gets rid of this so my value of r is now plus or minus the root of 49 and r is therefore equal to plus or minus the root of 49 will give me 7 so therefore the value of r in this particular case is plus or minus 7 so thank you so much for watching this is how we solve some basic algebraic expressions without the use of calculator or mathematical tables so thank you once again for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye